Tracy's been getting updates from the U.S. Geological Survey, and um, Tracy, an earthquake is rare for this part of the state. You know what? I mean, for us to feel it, it's not unusual that when they've happened in the state, we have felt them before. But yeah, we're going to talk about how rare of an occurrence of an earthquake is in our area in just a moment. But here's the map perspective. So here we are in Chicago. Then you go right toward LaSalle and just kind of to the west and southwest LaSalle. If you're more familiar with the Granville area, it's about three miles to the east of the Granville area in standard. So this is a map from the U.S. Geological Survey, and it's a shake map. And so what it shows us is where the epicenter was right there where that star is. But then these little boxes indicate where there was some degree of shaking. And so most of the boxes are in this light blue color, and that represents that there was some weak shaking, shaking which extended even toward the Buffalo Grove area. I even saw a blue box that was up around Milwaukee. So some of that shaking was felt fairly far away from the epicenter itself. And there were just a couple little isolated incidents of moderate shaking, but typically a 3.6 magnitude earthquake is something we would consider to be minor. You know, in Illinois, we do average one earthquake a year. Not that we always feel every one of them. An average earthquake, one with minor damage occurs, every 20 years. And then a couple that may be more recent, February 10th, 2010, 3.8 magnitude earthquake in Pingree Grove, April 18th, 2008, we had a 5.2 downstate in Mount Carmel. But the biggest one ever reported and felt in this area was from back in 1968, 5.4 magnitude earthquake downstate Hamilton. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.